What are the three biggest mistakes that people make after they've been involved in a car accident? Hey there, I'm Chris Klotz with the Stevenson Klotz Injury Law Firm here in Pensacola. We've got offices in Mobile as well. And I'm here to answer this question for you because we see this a lot. And we have this conversation quite frequently with people who call us about car accidents. And, and here's, here's the three biggest mistakes that I see happen all the time. Number one is if you need medical treatment, not getting it. I have talked to so many people in the hundreds and hundreds of cases where we've represented people in car accidents where they say, I just don't have the time, Chris, to go to the doctor. Or I can't, you know, I, I just can't take off work anymore. Or I got to pick up my kids from school. I completely understand that life gets in the way. But if you have a serious car accident and you're injured and you don't get medical treatment, that's one of the biggest mistakes that I see people make. And I, I don't want anybody to get medical treatment that you don't need, obviously. I want you to get the medical treatment that's necessary for you to get back on your feet. Not only, most importantly, we want to get you back on your feet. Obviously the goal is to get you healthy as soon as possible, but the secondary reason for this particular importance is that if you don't have documentation of what your injuries are, an insurance company is never going to pay you the full value of your case. So let's say somebody has a broken leg and they go to the doctor and the doctor documents that and they get healed and everything you know, comes out you know, really well um, treatment wise and they're healthy. Um, that's great. Say somebody has a broken leg and they you know, don't see a doctor like they're supposed to or they don't follow the doctor's advice and they don't follow up with the doctor and there's very little in the medical records. Well, the insurance company is going to say for the first person, well, we saw they got treatment and they were, they were hurt and it's documented. In the second case, we're going to see, well, the insurance company is going to say, well, that person wasn't really hurt that bad because they didn't seek medical treatment. They didn't do their follow-up care. They didn't follow the doctor's instructions. So again, the priority is to get you healthy but also secondarily it's also to make sure that there's documentation that um, that we can provide to an insurance company showing the injury is severe and well documented and that you did everything you were supposed to do. The second mistake that I see people making in automobile accident cases is talking to the other person's insurance company. So if you have an insurance policy in your car and you have an accident, then your insurance policy is 99 times out of 100 going to require that you give a statement to your own insurance company. However, what you're going to find is the person who caused the accident, their insurance company is going to come knocking on your door or calling you on the telephone and they're going to say, hey, we want to get a statement from you too. You do not have to give a statement to the other person's insurance company and I would usually recommend against it. Get the advice of a lawyer before you ever talk to the other party's insurance company. You don't have to give them a statement. Don't let them record you. Um, don't do any of that until you've talked to an attorney first. That's the second biggest mistake that I see. The third biggest mistake that I see people making in automobile cases by not hiring an attorney is not having an investigator to go to an accident scene where you need to have photographs taken or get statements from witnesses. And having uh, a firm involved that knows how to uh, you know, use an investigator or, or a, an accident scene reconstruction person in order to make your case um, the, the most expressive as it can be to an insurance adjuster who's making a decision about how much to offer you is very important. And that doesn't happen if you don't have those people available to you and we do. Um, those are the three biggest mistakes that I see people making when they're navigating their way through an automobile accident. We have handled hundreds and hundreds of these cases. We would love to help you. Uh, again, thank you for listening. I'm Chris Klotz with the Stevenson Klotz Injury Law Firm here in Pensacola. Uh, we put lives back together.